I'm Wishka Justin and my wish was for a hot tub. He's been enjoying it for sure. Every Friday night. Mom, a couple of the guys are coming over. I'm like, great. Come on over. So get the towels out and let them hit the refrigerator. Well, after a football game, I tell you, uh, I'm very sore. And so are all my friends. And every Friday, uh, my friend, uh, Bo, he'll be like, after every game, he'll be like, so we hitting up the hot tub tonight? And I'm like, sure, bro. You can come over whenever you want. And it's just so much fun. I just love spending time in it with friends. So I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia when I was 12, I believe. And uh, the hardest part for me was all the time that was taken away from me from my, or like all the time that I could have been spending with friends or could have been in school. That, that part was the hardest part. Uh, missing all my friends, being different, I guess, in a way. It was just a struggle for me. The way he handled it, he handled it better than I think her and I even, so. You know, I think what was actually cool being at Sparrow um, through the first stages is he was like oldest out of all the group. And there were little boys there. And they all looked up to him because they were scared. And Justin took it with Grace, like, we got this, buddy, we can, we can do this. And they, the little boys would all crowd around him and watch him. Like, oh, he's getting poked, that's scary. And then next thing you know, the little boys were being awesome with him and hanging out and not crying. I mean, obviously it's probably a lot scarier for them than it was for me. So I just thought I'd lead by example and show them that they can do it too. COVID really was nothing for us because we had been quarantining. We had been staying away from everybody. We had to keep him safe from other stuff. And we just had, we had the support of our whole community, the Ovid and Elsie, in a while. New Lothrop. So, New Lothrop. <laughs> they had a great big, huge um, fundraiser type thing for us. Our, Family and friends and community have been just huge. Yeah, it goes way beyond our, our school and our teachers, our administrators. It's... We had people in Mexico praying for us. So yeah, it was pretty amazing. Yeah. So six years this year of the whole process, two years um, cancer-free. Well, my initial thought was uh, for my family because they were with me the whole way through my journey and I thought they deserved some something to celebrate too, so. Justin and I were talking about it and, and at U of M and He's like, you know what? I'm gonna get play football again, and I hot tub would be really cool because then everybody can come over. You know, my other friends have pools, and we can just kind of go around and hang out. And I said, yeah, I think that'd be kind of fun. And it, and it's been great. I've had friends over in it. I've had parties here. It's fun. I feel like the best part was after that first football game and all my. A couple of my friends came over and we just, everybody had a great time. It just made me feel good. He gets to be a kid again. I think Make-A-Wish is amazing all in itself and what they do. And this whole process with us and Justin was totally, they made it so easy, so seamless. I feel like Make-A-Wish is an amazing program or organization. Thank you to all the donors to Make-A-Wish. Um, it means so much and you're, you're making kids my age all the way down to younger kids wishes come true.